Hello everyone, namaste, and welcome to today's flow. In this practice, we're going to be bringing a little bit of energy into our bodies, into our minds, into our spirits, and, you know, getting the juices flowing for a little bit. This practice is suited for somebody that, you know, maybe is in a rush, maybe doesn't feel like doing a whole hour-long yoga practice. Whatever it is, this is something to just be like a quick energizer flow, just to bring a little life into your whole being. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on our mats and let's feel good. So just coming in to yoga mode, coming into this moment, coming in to the space you're at, wherever you are, just entering the space, letting the day go, whatever happened before this practice and whatever's going to happen after, just simply coming in to this moment, coming into the stillness of this moment. And just finding our breath now, grounding ourselves into the moment with our breath. Every inhale and every exhale, becoming aware now. And see if you can keep that awareness throughout the entire practice. And that's okay. If you lose it, you can always come back to it. You can always come back to the breath. So staying with the essence of our breath, let's inhale, reaching up high, actively reach here. Try to touch the ceiling or the sky, wherever you're at. Exhale, let's twist from the ribs to the right. Look over our right shoulder, right hand goes behind us. Just warming up the body, warming up the spine. Easing into the practice. Big inhale. Reach up high again. Exhale. Twist. Look over our left shoulder. Left hand goes behind us. Nice easy twist. Don't want to force anything. Remember, this is your practice. This isn't mine. It's not anybody else you're doing it with. This is yours. So if you need to take a break, take a break. You need to pause the video, take a drink, catch your breath, do whatever you have to do to be comfortable today. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, right palm meets the mat, reaching with our left hand here, actively reaching. Keeping the left arm active. You're going to want to feel it under here in the side body. Inhale, come up. Exhale, left palm meets the mat, reaching with our right hand, keeping that right arm active. Inhale, let's come up. Bring our hands together, maybe putting them into a mudra. And just finding a little bit of a coffee grinder motion here. Just working it from the ribs, 360 degrees. Bringing in that kundalini energy into our bodies, into our spines today. And we'll go the other way. Maybe already noticing a difference in how you feel. Let's go post the arms and then find a nice gentle rotation left to right, continuing with that Kundalini energy. Maybe if you want, you don't have to. But inhale when you come left and exhale when you go right. If that's too intense, it's okay. Just keep a normal breath.
And come back to center, nice and easy. Lower the hands down. And let's just find a gentle rotation in the neck here, 360 degrees. Forward, right, back, left, forward, right, back, left. And you know the deal. Keep it going in your own time. Switch the other way. Left, back, right, forward. Left, back, right, forward. Just opening up the body. Letting go of all tension. We like to hold tension in our shoulders and our neck here. It's becoming loose, becoming fluid. And let's come back to center. Come back to the breath. If you lost it, remember you can always come back. And on your next inhale, lift the arms up high again. Actively reach. Exhale. Coming forward on our mat. Let's plant the palms. Uncross the ankles and come into tabletop position. Finding your foundation, finding stability, shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Once you're settled in, inhale, shine the chest, chin up, come into a cow. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding the back. Really get into it here. Inhale forward, exhale back. Do a few of these in your own time. I'm sinking with the breath. And if you'd like, maybe getting a little more into it. Finding a little bit of a coffee grinder motion here. Just working the hips a little bit. It's a little difficult to get in the groove of the coffee grinder motion, but once you get it, it feels good. Feel free to go the other way. You know, we really want to just enliven the body here. That's what we're doing. We're just getting the juices flowing. Getting all that good prana flowing throughout our body. Maybe dipping in the hips from left to right. Just opening up. All that stagnant negative energy that we hold in our body. Just letting it go here. Coming free. And let's come back to tabletop. From here, once you're settled in, lengthening the legs and let's come into a high plank push up position. Holding steady. We got this. Now we're going to do 10 push-ups. You can only do 5, do 5. You can only do 1, do 1. I'm going to do 10. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And down. Uncross the ankles. I'm sorry. Uncurl the toes. Chest meets the mat. Keeping the arms tight. Inhale, shine the chest, up dog. Exhale, from here, we're gonna come into a modified child's pose, so don't go all the way back. Don't send the hips all the way back. Keep the hips up a little bit. We wanna keep that shoulder stretch, back of the shoulder stretch here. Forehead meets the mat. And just rotating from left to right on our forehead. Finding the stretch, keeping the juices flowing. Let's come back up, tabletop, 
Send it all the way through. Bring the chest down to the mat. Arms are tight. Big inhale. Up dog. Shine the chest. Really getting into it. Exhale. Let's curl the toes. Send the hips up. Downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet. Head is heavy. Settling in. Finding what feels good here. Inhale, let's bend the knees, look forward, exhale, step, hop, or walk to the top of your mat. And just hang out here for a second. Shoulders are heavy, head is heavy. Just letting it all go. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, we fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive all the way up. Actively reach. Try to touch the ceiling. Maybe pitching from left to right here. Stretching out the spine and the back still. And then exhale. Palms by your side, Tadasana. Just finding that connection with your mat here. That sense of grounding with the earth. We're always connected. He's got to find it first. And coming back and finding our breath. From here, bring the feet about hips width distance apart and find a nice. Gentle rotation, left to right. Nice and easy. This practice is about getting the spine moving. If you haven't already realized that. It's a great way to substitute maybe a cup of coffee, you know, to just naturally energize the body and the mind. You do that by energizing the spine. And then the arms just flail out here. Kundalini energy. And in your own time, come back to center. Shake out the wrists. Shake out the ankles. Twirl the ankles. Do some hip rotations. Shaking it out. Shake it out, man. Maybe you lift the foot up, grab the top of your foot. Whoa. Finding your balance first. Stretching out the thigh a little bit. Switch to the other leg. I'm just coming back down, coming into Tadasana, and just reflecting, taking note of how we feel. Maybe a little bit different than before this practice. Maybe not, that's okay too. Either way, we're just becoming aware, becoming the witness. And staying with that awareness, we're going to come back to our breath. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, we sink the hips. Ukatasana, chair pose. Bringing the hands to heart center, keeping the spine neutral, keeping the legs in line like railroad tracks. Holding steady here for a few breaths. And on your next exhale, we're going to rotate from the ribs to the right. Nice, easy twist. Maybe opening up the arms if that feels good. Keeping the legs in line.
inhale come back to center exhale twist from the ribs to the left nice and easy and maybe opening up keeping the legs in line and just breathing inhale we come back to center exhale folding forward all the way down letting it all go just hanging out here for a second inhale to a flat back exhale let's plant the palms step back we're gonna take our chaturanga flow high to low plank uncurl the toes inhale to an up dog exhale send the hips back child's pose uncurl the toes forehead meets the mat and just breathe And let's come back up, tabletop position from here, finding a little bit of motion in the spine, maybe shifting from left to right in the hips a little bit, maybe some cat cows, keeping that prana flowing. And whenever you're ready, we're going to cross the ankles, send the butt on back, and come into a seated position. All right. So once you're settled in, send the legs long here. <clears throat> come up, neutral spine. Inhale. Reach up high. Knees can be generously bent as we reach forward towards the ankles, towards the heels. And just breathing. And break free. Let's come back up. Neutral spine. From here, you might need to adjust yourself on the mat. Keeping the knees bent, feet are flat. We're going to lower down with control, arms out on a count of five, four, three, two, and one. We find ourselves flat on our backs now. So just settling in, finding a spot that's comfortable for you. Keeping the knees bent, feet are flat, in line with the hips. And whenever you're ready, sending the hips up, chest up, as we come into a bridge pose. Making sure the legs aren't splaying out. Maybe interlacing the hands underneath. And breaking free, floating the hips down. Let's splay the legs open, bring the heels to touch, coming to, to a lying down butterfly. Just breathe, reflect for a second, soak in all that good energy. Just taking note of how you feel. Guide the legs up, feet are flat, and from here, hug the knees into the chest. 
Maybe you rotate the ankles. And from here, just massaging the lower back, rotating from left to right on the lower back. We're going to send the right leg long on your mat, keeping the left knee bent as we rotate to the right side, coming in to a twist, reaching with the left hand, looking past your left fingertips, and just breathing. And come back to center, bring the legs in, and same thing on the left side now, sending the left leg long, keeping the right leg bent as we rotate to the left, reaching with our right hand, looking past our right fingertips as we come into a twist. Rotating back to center, bring the legs in. This time send both legs long, high to the sky. Take your two peace fingers, interlace with the big toe. If you can't reach, then grab your ankles. And from here, just lengthen the legs as much as you can. Don't force anything. Just finding a little bit of a stretch. Finding the bind. And just opening up to a happy baby. And feel free to go from lengthening the legs to happy baby here. Lengthening to opening. Or just staying in one if you like to, that's fine. And once you're feeling good, we're going to lengthen the legs, keep them up high to the sky. And if you'd like, you can bring your hands underneath your lower back here. We're going to get into some leg raises, still keeping in with the idea of energizing the body. All right. So from here, we're going to do 10, but just like the push-ups, if you want to do five, do five. If you want to do one, do one. It's up to you. Here we go, lowering down, keeping the legs about an inch off the mat. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten from here. Hold. Keeping the legs about an inch or two off the mat. Holding steady. We got this. For one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine and ten, release. Let it all go. Bring the hands up from your lower back and just lie down here for a second. Soak in all that good energy, all that prana that we cultivated for ourselves today. 
We're going to come into Shavasana. So just finding a spot on your mat where you can let go and be comfortable. Like I said, if you don't want to even do Shavasana, that's fine. You want to just sit here for maybe five, ten seconds, that's okay. This practice was meant to energize the body. But sometimes it's good to just, you know, reflect for a few seconds. It's up to you, though. It's finding that stillness. Finding that point of reflection in yourself. And finding the peace. Releasing all tension in the shoulders. Releasing the feet and the legs. And curl the forehead, maybe lengthen the neck a little bit. And let's do one big breath. Finish up the practice. Inhale all the way. And letting it all go, big exhale. Just sinking down into the mat. Freeing ourselves, finding peace, and finding our breath one last time as we come into Shavasana. Thank you very much for practicing today with me. Feel free to stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. Namaste.